Hello my lovelies, I hope you're all doing really well. Here I am with my a Wednesday video. I need to stop saying that. I'm just, I just get proud every time that I um do a video and then it's actually uploaded on time. But, you know, I am quite good. I'm not gonna lie to you. I hope you all had a good weekend. Um, and you know, it's all super well. Just to let you know, I am gonna let you know now. Um, I am going away next week. Um, with my friend, um, so I am not going to be posting next Wednesday. Um, we will be doing, we will be filming a few things when, when I'm away. So there will be some videos coming up when I get back. But I am sorry, just wanted to let you know. Hey, okay. so today's video was a really requested video um, on about bo body positivity and body shaming. Um, basically, uh, like a couple of months ago, I posted this. A photo on my Instagram, which is Rosie Hughes ninety nine, and it got it got quite a lot of like comments, people messaging me, and you know, it was really nice. It was about um this bigger lady and this smaller lady, and I'm just basically saying they're both beautiful. Sh um, size, shape, whatever doesn't define who's beautiful or you know, it's, it's what's inside that makes you beautiful so I did I got um I went and asked my friends on Facebook um if they had any questions about body shaming or body positivity and I wrote them down because everyone who knows me knows I'm a bit of a sucker for notebooks and stuff yeah um so the first person um she never heard of the word body shaming before um don't know if it's because I don't know, I don't know why, but body shaming basically is bullying somebody or mocking somebody based on their size, size or body shape, should I say. Um, it's basically saying negative comments about their size and their shape. Basically, um, I should go, I'm gonna stop. I find that I'm doing this video basically one because it was very requested, but two, um, a lot of you know, who know me will know that I was bullied a lot for being a skinnier person. Um, so I, for me, body shaming is a big deal to me, and I don't think it gets spoken about enough. Everyone thinks, oh, being getting called getting called fat's bad and stuff, which yes, it is. But everyone always misses out. Being called skinny is affects people as well. Everyone's like, oh, you're so skinny. Everyone thinks, oh, word, that's a compliment. But no, it actually really hurts. And no one understands that the fact that calling someone skinny is a bad thing. Like being called fat is a bad thing. No one should be defined for their size. It's what is inside that matters. So anyway, let's go to the questions. I just wanted to get that point across quickly. So how do I eat healthy? Well, I don't I don't really eat healthy. My metabolism is really quick. Um, I don't go to the gym. I don't do anything. I am just this size. No, I'm not always happy. I would love to be able to put on weight, but I am who I am. You love me, or you, lo you love me for who I am, or you know where the door is kind of situation. I don't really watch what I eat. Um, I do obviously eat my five a day and all that jazz, but other than that, I like to treat myself and have my snacks and like, I enjoy a pack of crisps and stuff like that. But I think if you are wanting to lose weight or not even that, I just think, make sure you have your five a day. Exercise is the most important thing. I try and exercise every day. And I will, I've got a dog and I find having a dog is really helpful because you know you have to get up and go for a walk. But I don't know, I don't know what I would recommend, but sometimes I don't think you should always worry about what you're eating. As long as you're happy, that's the most important thing. If you're happy with how you are, others around you who deserve to be in your life will stay in your life. If they're gonna bully you, or say horrible stuff about you is because they're jealous or they just don't deserve to be in your life. Get rid of those people. Don't make time, don't, don't make the time of day for them people. You know what I mean? Because 
they don't deserve you. You are beautiful for who you are. What makes me positive about my body? Um, I mean, like I said, I haven't, I, I have my bad days. I will cry sometimes because I hate being who I am. I hate being how skinny I am. But at the end of the day, we are given our bodies for a reason. And I mean, at the end of the day, me being bullied when I was at high school actually kind of made me stronger. So, um, I mean, if there are people saying negative comments, I kind of like, oh, or if they say you're skinny or something, I try and make a joke about it. You know what I mean? Like, whereas if, I, if someone said you're skinny or something at school, I would have cried. But I kind of make a joke about it and it doesn't happen as much anymore. But how would I, what makes me positive about my body is just learn, you've got to learn to love yourself. Look at the good things about yourself. If there are things you want to change, how could you change them? You know what I mean? Like, yes, it's hard to lose weight, gain weight, whatever you want to do. But if that's what you want to do, then that's your goal. Set small goals each month, every few months, and try and hit those goals. I always write goals every um, every September, nice one, every month, and I try and reach them. You know what I mean? Not just about my body, but just in my daily life, what I could achieve. How could I boost my confidence? I am afraid that um, people will judge me if I wear something that they may think doesn't suit me. So I always say, there's going to be people who don't like what you're going to wear. There's going to be people that don't like what you do in your life. Who gives a flying f You know what I mean? Like, you are you. You wear what you feel comfortable with. Like I said previously, if they don't like what you're doing in your life, they will clearly not make the time for day for you. It's those who make a comment that clearly are jealous because they are making time for you by saying a stupid comment that isn't even necessary. You are beautiful and if you feel comfortable, slay it, you know? You've gotta just, I just, my main thing is don't give two dams what people say about you because that when you do that's when everything goes downhill that's when anxieties and everything comes in just and i know it's easier said than done and yes i have my bad days too but it's when you actually go for it and go no it's my life i live the, my life the way i want to live my life and if pop if people don't want to like it then they know where the door is don't let people tell you what to wear, what to do, what jobs to have, what cars to drive. You are you. You are the only person in your shoes. You're the one who's paying the bills. You are the one, you know what I mean? Do you. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Oh, where am I? Why do I think body shaming happens? Um, I think body shaming happens because I don't, uh, I don't really know why it happens. I think it's sometimes jealousy, Sometimes it's um, bullying happens because they want to fit in. It's a group of people who want to fit in and look cool. When in actual fact, they really don't. I mean, my bullies from high school messaged me when I left, like a couple of like a year ago, saying how beautiful I was. I'm like, I don't want that time of day. But I don't want to give you that satisfaction. Satisfaction? Yeah. Of you know. I don't care. You were horrible to me back then. I don't want to have you in my life now. You know what I mean? But I think body shaming happens because I don't really know why it happens. And it sucks why it happens because it shouldn't happen. And I don't know why it happens because I would never in a million years judge somebody because of their size, their size? Yeah. Because of their size or shape. I would never do it. And to me, it blows my mind that it happens. So I can't answer that question because I don't know why it happens. Um, apart from jealousy, I don't really know why it happens. Oh, okay, when you feel down about your body, what helps you to feel better? Um, what helps me to feel better is I just have a relaxing time, just do a face mask, like pamper myself, do a face mask, have a bubble bath, da da da, and just kind of put some nice music on and just remember who the hell I am and that I always. So what I do, and I know it sounds easier said than done, is 
I try to remember how I felt when I was at high school and how little I felt. But now I've come so far. I'm like, yeah, I can do this. And when I feel down, I just, I kind of, I kind of just put myself up together, do my makeup and just put something nice on. And you've got to love yourself when you're wearing something nice, made to the effort. And, and then you come and then you think of all the positives. Every every day you should write a positive thing about yourself, your life, your body, everything. You should affirmations is so important. Um, if you could tell your past self one thing about pos pos body positivity and body shaming, what would it be and why? If I could tell my past self at high school, I'll tell them, don't give a don't give a f what people say. You are more than what they would ever be. Um, don't let comments get you down, concentrate on your life, concentrate on your future, because I, I, I completely messed up my GCSEs because I got the, um, I let the um, bullies get to me, I, like, I let their comments get to me and it upset me, I missed a few couple of weeks of school and, and I didn't, I didn't care, I didn't, I completely didn't care, I didn't revise, I just, I just wanted to get out there. I just wanted to get out of school and so that was my main aim just to get out of school and if I could tell my past self I'll say don't give a hell whatever people think they are going to make comments there's always going to be people who make comments and judge you for who you are but nobody's not everyone's going to be happy the way the way you're living your life but you are you and you are beautiful for who you are that's what I tell myself um right so that's my um my video on body positivity and body shaming. Body shaming is the most horrible thing you could ever do. Never, ever discriminate somebody because of their shape or their size. You are beautiful and don't let anybody tell you differently. If you have liked this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Bye my lovelies.